inside the body you have a lot of blood. Think of the blood as trouble, and it flows through the different vessels. Now, where you're going to have a lot of blood would be a big city. So let's start in the heart. That'd be around the aorta. Let's call it Gotham City. Now, Gotham City needs someone to regulate its flow of trouble. Like, oh, I don't know, Batman. And Batman is rigid, uncompromising. Batman is not very distensible. If any trouble, if any blood is in his city, he's going to send it packing fast. So a little trouble builds, the aorta will distend slightly, and then it recoils and sends that blood rushing out of the body. Now, as the blood rushes out, as the trouble flows out, it starts going to all these different cities. It gets into the arteries, to the arterioles, down to the capillaries, drifting out further and further, until all that blood finally starts to trickle back down to, say, another big city. The veins, maybe, let's call them Metropolis. Now, Metropolis has its own protector. And that protector... <laughs> this looks like a job for... <laughs> The problem with uh, <laughs> the problem with Metropolis' protector is that Superman is a little bit of a pansy ass bitch, oh. and that's because he's very compliant. No matter what's asked of him, Superman will give in. So, this brief demonstration of uh, compliance in the veins. Oh. <laughs> 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 Lois, we're kind of in the Fortress of Solitude, and the game is on. Please? All right. <laughs> now, as you can see, it took very little pressure to get Superman to do that. Why? Because the veins are very compliant. So, only a slight amount of pressure, and the veins will increase, and they'll hold more trouble. So he just keeps on taking it, and taking it, and taking it. However, with age, you start to lose compliance in the veins. They get a little bit less compliant, a little bit more rigid. Like so. Soupy, honey. What is it, woman? <laughs> Will you go to the store and get me some ice? We're in the Fortress of Solitude. There's ice everywhere. Please? No. You used to go out and get me things. Yeah, well, you used to be good looking. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're still faster than a speedy bullet. And yet more powerful than a locomotive. <laughs> so as you can see, the same amount of pressure that used to be put on the veins to cause them to become compliant no longer works. So the veins become a little bit less compliant, which means more of the trouble that Superman used to take on, more of the blood that used to be collected in the veins, will now be able to get back up into the aorta, back up into Gotham. And in Gotham City, unfortunately, Batman's aged a bit, so he's not exactly able to deal with all the trouble that he used to. So he needs a sidekick. He needs someone to help him out. This is where Robin comes in. And you know, Batman's realizing I gotta be more flexible. I can't do everything on my own. And as we know, what makes Batman bend? Robin. Oh, <laughs> I'm not hear any more just vile insinuations about Batman. So. With age, the veins will become less compliant, the aorta will become more distensible. But what's distensibility versus compliance? Well, distensibility is actually a percentage, right? The yeah. Dispensability is the percentage of the time that, say, Superman would do what Lois wanted him to do, whereas compliance is the number of events. So in terms of um, like an equation, you can look at compliance as change in volume over change in pressure. The sensibility is change in volume over change in pressure times the initial volume. All right, so don't get confused. Again, this is an actual number, whereas this is just a percentage, like how much it's changed from the beginning. That concludes Physio Masterpiece Theater. Thank you to Bhargava and Rithika again for uh, helping us out. Big round of applause for Superman and Lois. See you next week. Yes, we are drafting them as permanent parts of our cast now. <laughs>